extension I want to go over is Hotwire. So this is the Hotwire website. And if you notice over here, they also have an app, which I do use on my cell phone. So that way when I'm traveling, I can easily access my reservations. And the here you can see is the different currencies. So there's a few to pick from. I'm Canadian, so I always leave it Canadian dollars. So if you look here, um, gives you a little bit about like why choose Hotwire, download the app. And then it gives you kind of like hotels in my area that are on sale today, as well as different areas of the world. So let's go back up here. And I want to kind of show you how I go about finding my hotels because this is the main search engine that I use for finding my hotel deals. So for this sake, we are going to pick Las Vegas. And we're just going to pick random dates for the sake of this video. So let's go March 2nd to the 6th. Down here, you can change the number of rooms, how many adults and how many children. We're just going to leave it at two adults. We're going to click Find Hotel. So, you're going to see this screen. This is the map of the Las Vegas Strip area. You'll notice when I like mouse over certain areas, they highlight green. And you'll also notice if you go over here, um, these are your hotel options. It gives you a bunch of different filters. You can sort by best match, price lowest to highest, price highest to lowest, hotel class, your savings, and your distance from certain areas. You can pick your price range, your hotel class, so the number of stars you want. You can also filter by amenities the area so that's these green boxes that when you mouse over they change to a darker green if it's darker green that means you are selecting hotels in that area which I'll kind of explain a little bit later and you can also pick more filters but typically I like to go price low to high first and we'll arrange these and the first one that comes up is a deal of the day it's 67% off as you'll see right here original price is $28. It's on for $9 a night. It tells you it's a 3.5 star hotel. It's in north of the Strip. It's the Fashion Show Mall area. So that is this area here. Based on my experience in Vegas, you want to be somewhere down this way more because it's more of where the main attractions are. If you're up here, it's a bit of a walk. Um, there's also another option, the bus pass, which I can talk about later. But like I said, from my experience, you want to be in this area here, which is called South of the Strip. So let's see. There's one down here for $19 a night, three star, and it's South of the Strip. So that's not too bad. Let's click on that. And um, I actually don't want to use this one. So Every time you click on a hotel on the main page, it opens in a new tab, which is nice. So you don't lose your spot. So let's just close it at that. Um, you'll also notice, too, um, I have my mouse on this 3.5 star hotel option. That's the $9 a night one. My mouse is green, and you'll notice, or sorry, my mouse is over it, and you'll notice the um, north of the strip area is highlighted a dark green. That means that's just indicating to you, like, what area of the strip it's located in. If I take my mouse off of that and go over to the map, you'll notice that the dark green area disappears. Um, that's because I haven't selected any areas or any hotels. So for the sake of this video, I said we want to kind of go south of the strip. So if you bring your mouse down here to all these little lightly shaded green boxes, if you actually click on certain areas, it changes to dark green and it changes your hotel options on the left. So I'm going to click all these areas that are considered south of the strip. You'll see there's three that are darkly shaded green. If you want to get rid of one of the areas, you just click it again and it goes away. We want all these areas selected for the sake of this video. So let's go here. We'll see this 3.5 star hotel south of the strip for $20 a night. Let's click on that. 
And you'll notice here, this is one of my main tips for Hotwire. You see this little message here that I have highlighted blue? It says book soon. The last person got the Excalibur Hotel and Casino. I never book a hotel in here unless it has this here because 100% of the time for myself, every time I see this, that's exactly the hotel I get. I will show you an example where it doesn't show you this little message and if it doesn't, I will not book it. So let's go down here where it says show hotels. You'll notice these are the three guaranteed, like one of these three options down here you are guaranteed to get. So you'll notice Excalibur's on there, Jockey Club Suites, no idea what that is, and Vidar Suites by Air Pads, which is, that's a really nice spot. So um, I can almost say for $20 a night, it's probably not going to be that one. But um, so one of the tricks is you see these three options here. If you close out of it and you click on it again, go show hotel options again, you'll notice that all of your hotel choices this time have switched except for Excalibur. So now you have Grand Desert Villas, you have Excalibur again, and then you have Luxor. So um, let's close it out and do it a third time. We still have our little message saying the last person got Excalibur, that hasn't changed. If you go down again, you now have Rain Tree at Polo Towers and Vidar Suites and Excalibur again. So if you wanted to, you could close it out one more time and open it again. So now you have MGM Grand, Excalibur again, and Grand Desert again. But you'll notice the one that stayed consistent every single time we clicked was Excalibur. So you are definitely going to get Excalibur. So you'll see that it's a 3.5 star, it's $20 a night. If you scroll down, it will give you your overall ratings. It kind of tells you the amenities. So there's business center, casino, fitness center, internet access, pet friendly, there's pools, restaurants, and a spa. So one of the things you'll notice is if you scroll down, it will say choose your room type. So you have the option of getting the cheapest price per night if you allow the hotel to choose your bed at check-in. I just want to make a note about this. If you properly disclose the number of people who will be staying at the hotel, then you will be guaranteed that the hotel will choose a room type that sleeps the same amount of people that you made that you selected during your reservation. If you want to try to sneak someone else in and you select this hotel chooses bed type, there's no guarantee that you'll get enough beds for everyone. So you also have the option of going resort tower to queen room, to queen room, so it gives, it gives you two queen beds in the room. And then there's royal tower king room. So the price goes up a little bit, but I always like to pick my room. So I would book now and do the resort tower to queen beds for $22 a night. And then if you scroll down here, um, you will see that it gives you points of interest. So it's saying that your hotel is in this green area. Let's zoom in a little bit. It's gonna be in this area, and these are all points of interest near your hotel. So it's gonna tell you how far away it is in miles because this is this hotel is in the States, but if it was Canadian, it would give you kilometers. So that kind of gives you an idea if you want to be close to certain things, you can look at this point of interest. And then also another thing to note is if you scroll down to the bottom, know before you go. This gives you all the important information about your booking. So it tells you how old you have to be to check in. Um, it tells you the full amount will be charged at booking. So when you book with Hotwire, they charge you the full amount of the hotel at this time of booking the hotel. You can't, you can't cancel and get a refund. So as soon as you book it, it charges you the full amount and you cannot get your money back. So you need to make for certain that you really want that because you can't make changes after. Um, just a little note for places like um, some places in California, some places in Las Vegas and any of like the big touristy areas, 
a lot of the hotels will charge what they call a resort fee. So it's an additional fee per night, per room, on top of your nightly fee. So this hotel is $20 per night, and then they also charge a resort fee of $53.87 Canadian per room per night on top of that. So I can discuss that a little bit more when I talk about hotels in Vegas. Um, so yeah, like if I were to book somewhere in Vancouver, for instance, um, they might not have this resort fee. Some places might. So you just want to really pay attention to the know before you go section to see if there's any additional fees. But it will also tell you when you go to check out. So let's just pretend we're going to check out. So let's go choose room type. We want two queen beds. Book now. So it'll take you to this page. It will show you your travel information. You also have the option of doing a trip cancellation protection so that you can cancel. It's an additional $22.50, but that's up to you. And then it brings you to this payment section. Um, I do want to make note of this here. You'll see a tab that says PayPal. I have not been able to pay on Hotwire with PayPal yet. Not really sure what the problem is there, but that's not an option for me. If it works for you, great. So then if you scroll down here, it just kind of tells you the terms of use by booking through Hotwire. And down here it tells you your check-in um, date, your check-out date, and what you'll be charged total in your currency that you've selected. So um, over here on the side, you get your price summary. So it tells you how much the room is per night. It tells you you want one room at four nights. So it gives you your total per night and it adds your taxes and fees on top of that. And then here's the resort fee I was talking about that some hotels charge. So down here at the bottom, you'll see due now. $104.96 Canadian would be due right now on your credit card if you were to book this. So this is the cost of your hotel for the four nights with your taxes and fees included. Then you see due at check-in, $215.45 Canadian. Canadian dollars. Um, that is your hotel resort fee for the four nights. And then down here you see trip total. This is how much total with your, ho your rooms per night, your taxes and fees, and your resort fee as well. So total you're going to pay $320.41 Canadian for this hotel. That's all your fees included. Now Depending on like some places in California we've stayed recently, there is no extra resort fee. It would just be the $104.96 Canadian. You wouldn't have this extra due at check-in. But just pay attention to that and you'll notice it anyway. So let's go back and look at our map here because there's a couple of things I want to show you. So you'll see we're still south of the strip because we have these three dark green areas shaded. So let's pick this one. This is a four-star hotel. It's south of the strip and it's $28 a night. So let's click on it. It's going to redirect us here. So this is one of the things that unless it's four-star hotels, you're probably going to get a good hotel anyways. But if you don't see the little note here that says the last person who booked got such and such hotel, I usually do not book it. Um, I like to know exactly what hotel I'm going to get. So unless that disclosure thing is there, I usually won't book it. But let's see what our hotel options are. So we have New York, New York, Tropicana, and Park MGM. These are all amazing hotels. I wouldn't be disappointed with any of them, so I would go ahead and book this. I've personally stayed at the Tropicana as well as Park MGM, and they're both amazing. So... Let's go down. Complimentary free internet, free parking, pools, resort, casino, business center, fitness center, and restaurants. Has pretty good overall rating. There's a couple of bed choices. If you scroll down here, it's going to tell you that your hotel resort fee is $56.56 Canadian per room per night on top of your $28 per night. Let's zoom in on our map. And this is kind of like your boundaries. So this is also a way to narrow down what hotel you're going to get. So let's jump to Google Maps. So take note, it's Tropicana Ave, over to West Reno Ave, over to East Reno Ave, and up this way. So these are our boundaries we're going to look for on Google Maps. 
So let's zoom out here. I just kind of typed in, um, actually, let's go back and put Las Vegas, whoops, strip. And then we're going to zoom right in. I know this is um, Tropicana Ave here because I've stayed. So this is our boundaries here. Let's go back. We know it's a four-star hotel. We know the nightly resort fee is 56, 56 Canadian per night. We know these are our boundaries. So let's go back to our Google Maps and let's mouse over everything that's from West Reno Ave all the way to East, all the way up and Tropicana Ave. Okay, let's mouse over. Excalibur is only $36. It's a three star. It's probably not going to be that one because it wasn't one of our choices. We have the Tropicana Las Vegas, which is four stars. There's free Wi Fi. That was an option. I think it's going to be that one. So let's mouse over Desert Rose, $69. Um, let's see. Does it tell what, us, what the original? No, it doesn't. Um, but. You can eliminate these because that wasn't an option. Travel Lodge by Wyndham, that wasn't an option. Howard Johnson wasn't an option. Um, Motel 6 was not an option. I don't even think it was up to that boundary. I think it was to here. Um, this hotel also was not an option. We have New York, New York, which is an option. It's a four star, has free Wi-Fi. Um, let's see, MGM Grand. Oh, that wasn't an option, it's Park MGM. So that one's also an option. So because they're all relatively around the same stars, we have our Park MGM, our New York, New York, and our Tropicana. Um, it's safe to say it's going to be one of those three, considering those are your three options. It's within that area. They're both relatively all the same stars. Yes, they're all four stars. So it's safe to say that... You're going to get one of those, which are all really good. But let's check out what the nightly resort fee is for each one. So let's click on Park MGM. We'll bring it up in Expedia. Right now it's about $104 a night. Let's go back here. Let's open. Let's click off of that for a second. And then we'll click on New York, New York. And we'll go over here and click on Expedia. It's $78 currently right now per night. So let's go back to our map and we'll click off of Park MGM and we're going to mouse over here to Tropicana. We're going to click on that and then we're going to go over to, uh, let's go check availability. Why isn't it giving me the Expedia option for that one? Let's zoom out. Click off of it for a second. Let's zoom back in a little bit. Okay, well, let's just click on it here then. Actually, I don't want to do that. We'll, we'll look at these ones first. So New York, New York, let's click on that. It's a four-star hotel. Let's scroll to the bottom and see what our nightly resort fee is. Forty-one ninety-five U.S. Let's Google this, search it. I'm going to convert this to Canadian, which is fifty-five forty-seven. Let's see what it, our booking is. Fifty-six per night. Well, close, but maybe not close enough. So let's go to Park MGM. We'll click on that. It's also a four-star. Let's scroll down to the nightly resort fee. Where is it? Resort fee, $44.22 US per night. Let's switch that to Canadian. $58.47 Canadian. So that's pretty close to $56.56. So I think you might get Park MGM. But like I said, any of those are really good, so wouldn't be disappointed. Let's see if we can find Tropicana. Good, so wouldn't be disappointed. Let's see if we can find Tropicana. Okay, so here is the Tropicana. I finally found it on Expedia. And it is $31 per night. It's got free parking, free Wi-Fi, it's four stars. So if we go back here, 
that is one of our options. The price per night right now is currently the closest to the $28. So free internet, free parking. Yes, it's in the same vicinity. I think it's going to be that one. Let's check the nightly resort fee for this one. So the other hotels um, were closer to $78 and $100 per night. This one is currently, I said 31. So this is closest to the $28. So there's a pretty good chance you're gonna have this one. Where is the resort fee for this one? Should be down here, right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is what the resort fee at Park MGM covers, or sorry, Tropicana. Um, it's not telling you exactly what the resort fee is, but if you wanted to know for sure, you could go right on their website to find out your nightly resort fee. It's weird because usually it says it, but I guess it tells you on Hotwire anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but just to help narrow it down. But like I said, this one's closest to the $28 that Hotwire is offering. It's currently on for 31. The rest were 78 to 100. It's probably not going to be Park MGM or New York, New York. I think it's going to be Tropicana. But if you look at some of these pictures, like it's a beautiful hotel. So it's really nice. And they also give you nice warm chocolate chip cookies upon check in. And there's a mini fridge and stuff. So it's really nice. The pool area is gorgeous. In the summer, it would just be amazing. So yeah, I would be happy with any of those options, but I think we've narrowed it down to Tropicana. So that's what you would get. And then if you were to choose your bed choice and go to the end and draw your information, it's gonna come up with a screen and it's gonna load what your hotel is. And then there's gonna be a bunch of confetti that falls down the screen and it's gonna say, congratulations, you got Tropicana. Then you can go up here to the far right where it says, hi Kyla, click my trips. And then it's gonna say upcoming. It's gonna give you an itinerary. It's gonna tell you your date of travel and the hotel that you've got. And you can also see your past ones. So yeah, that's it for the Hotwire hotel portion of things.